Oh, 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 is that gonna get annoying? Nah. Oh, getting down to the ground is no problem. Getting back up, I'm literally gonna need Brick to help me out. Why, hello, hope you guys are all okay. So I'm really sorry this video has taken so long to get out to you guys. We are a week and a half away from meeting baby girl and it was about time that I just got this done. But honestly, I have struggled to film. I'm just so hot. <laughs> See, I'm somebody that's freezing cold all the time and all the way through this pregnancy, all I've done is sweat. So I'm sure you guys really wanna hear about how much I'm sweating, but um, that's the reason for my absence, basically. Anyway, all of this, pretty much came to a total of, I think it came to 200 pound, approximately. Now, if you're new to my channel, this video is not a video for your baby checklist. I've actually got a video for your baby checklist, so like everything that you guys need. This video is more to encourage you and show you that you can pretty much get everything on baby checklist on a really decent budget. You don't have to feel like you need to spend loads of money. We've had to buy from scratch again because we sold everything after Lila Rose was born, so it can be done on a budget. Don't feel like you have to spend loads of money. Don't feel like you can't go second hand. I thought I would just um, share with you all the bargains that I got and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started. I know it's at the back, but I think I'm gonna start with the biggest purchase and the biggest bargain. I'm so pleased with this. When we had Lila Rose, so if you're new to my channel, we've got Lila Rose who's three and a half or over three and a half now. When we had Lila Rose, we went into mother care before it all shut down and we were looking around for prams and this was the dream pram. But the only issue we had was that it was, I think about 850 pound at the time all in. And that just wasn't gonna be doable for us. So we had to go for a cheaper pram in the end. We went for, I think it's called the Mother Care Journey 3-in-1 travel system or something like that. That came to 300 pound, which I thought was pretty reasonable. And it was an all right pram, but this was the dream. This is the Silver Cross travel system. You probably recognize it because this is a very common pram. Oh, the bouncer. Oh, I've just pressed the vibrate. Gave me a little bummer tickle. So it comes with the car seat. It actually came with the changing bag as well. It also comes with the carry cot, which is currently at Nanny's because we can't store everything in this tiny little house. And it also comes with the seat as well, which you can obviously have forward facing or rear facing as well. All in, we got this from Facebook Marketplace for £80. You know when you like can look at prams on Facebook and you can sometimes see that they're scratched or where they've got like leather on the handles, sometimes that's peeling off and stuff not this one this was going for 100 pound and we managed to drop it down to 80 just by saying like would you take 80 if i picked it up literally right now and they were like yeah of course and i'm hoping that encourages you guys to go and shop second hand because i'm telling you that is the biggest bargain ever okay next up is probably the second thing that i'm so pleased with this bargain so i was looking around for a bouncer that i could completely fold down flat because if there's anything that i learned from last time even though you have a bouncer out all the time it really is annoying to have a really chunky bouncer just in the way all the time i just wanted the option to be able to fold it away and just put it put it down the side of the sofa or something like that so this is the joey um no, it's not the Joey. Kindercraft, sorry. It's not Joey, it's Kindercraft. But I did have a little look at what the price was of this originally. A lot more expensive than what we paid. Um, so I'm really pleased with this deal. So I got this one off of Facebook Marketplace again. This was £10 for this bouncer. This is absolutely brand new condition. There is not even one little scratch. So like I said, it completely folds flat. So this can actually clip up here. You can just take this off really easily. So you could just have it as a chair. You don't have to have the mobile on it. This is like a newborn insert. So you don't actually have to have this, but it just kind of straps into here and you've got like a newborn swaddle, which I think is quite cool. I know you can get them in different patterns and different colors. Like I think I've seen them in a pink and possibly a blue as well. As you could tell by the earlier bum tickle, it vibrates and then I haven't actually had a proper listen to this. Oh, that's really cool. So there's like beachy wave sounds with some birds. Okay, so there's only two different settings. There's music or there's the beach waves. No, that's a different song again. That's even better than I thought. That's actually got loads of different lullabies on there. So, um, yeah, even better. Okay, next up is this one. If you guys haven't seen this before, this is the Tommy Tippy machine. So if you watch any of my baby videos before and I've talked about this, you guys will know that I will always say, do your research. I honestly think it's personal preference to how you want to make up your bottles. I do have a formula feeding guide for you guys if you wanna check that video out. That seems to be a very 
popular video, one of my most popular videos, and I think it's helped a lot of people out. So I will leave that linked in the description. For me, I came to the conclusion that a Tommy Tiffy machine is an absolute must have because we are only bottle feeding and I don't breastfeed at all. For night feeds, it was just a dream with Lila Rose. It just saved so much time and so much energy during the middle of the night and even just during the day. Now I'll put the price right here if you bought this new, but we got this one from Facebook Marketplace for £10 with a brand new in-packaged filter to go inside as well. I thought that was amazing considering the filter on its own from Amazon is I think like £9.95. And I kid you not, again, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this i've given it a full-on clean out now when i say a clean out i thoroughly clean so i'm not worried about having this second hand i've sterilized it i've put the new filter in i've run it all through to make sure everything works all right and it's absolutely perfect so for tenor i think that is an absolute bargain okay along the same lines of bottle feeding so this is the only purchase that was brand new there is no problem with getting second hand bottles and obviously it does save you a lot of money i hope this makes sense but for me i just feel like having it brand new i know where the bottles have been and i know that they're clean do you know what i mean i just i didn't want to compromise on this so these were 50 pound i think we got them in argos so again we're going to go for man bottles these were brilliant for lila rose i like to go for these purely because you can sterilize them in the microwave so there's no need to go and buy a sterilizer that's going to take up room in your kitchen especially if you've got a kitchen that's just a box like ours so inside of here you've got four five ounce bottles you've got four nine ounce bottles you've also got the baby teats to go on top as well which i think are the first size baby teats and then what i love is it actually has the transition into a um beaker as well so it's got the beaker teat with it and also the handles so when they start to get a little bit older and you move away from baby teats it can transition into being a beaker the other thing i picked up this was two pound 25 from asda this is the exact same thing that we got for lila rose and it really came in handy especially for night feeds as well so it's just a formula powder dispenser i'm actually going to quickly take it out so you guys can see we just found this really handy for night feeds so the lid twists around into the different compartments so before you go to bed you just fill it up with however many ounces your baby's taking and then it's just a really quick and easy way of dispensing milk in the middle of the night where you really don't want to be faffing around trying to measure out how many ounces your baby needs so £2.25 for that one. Next up is a team you buy and this was only £3.25 I want to say. It's basically one of those rear car mirrors so when your baby is rear facing this just sits on the headrest of the actual car seat and in the mirror while you're driving you can basically see your baby so once i've taken that cover off i think the mirror underneath is perfect there you go you guys can see what's behind my camera it's actually quite a good mirror actually okay we're going for the baby bath next this one was actually for free from one of my friends basically the dentist i work with who i'm very close to she decided to give us this one very generously apparently this is the company called boone i haven't heard of it but i have seen that these are more expensive than free oh my god i can't put it back down do you know what i've got a week and a half to learn how all of these things work it's very worrying okay we'll work it out in a minute anyway so that is basically what it looks like when it's folded out i love the fact that you can fold it down especially like i said we've got such a small house we really struggle for storage in this house in general so it's also got a hook up here as well so at the moment we've got it on the back of our bathroom door so it's just it's just brilliant it's really convenient and because i'm having a c-section i thought this would be really handy to be able to put up on our dining room table so that I don't have to bend down during my recovery or bend over the edge of a bath as well. If you want to put your baby at an angle, which is probably a lot easier, you can just do that by folding out one side as well. Probably one of the best baby baths I've ever seen, purely because of how versatile it is. Anything that's going to be more organised and make more space in such a tiny house is a win from me. Okay, next up, I'm not gonna move this one around, but you guys can see this is a Moses basket with a stand. We got this from Facebook Marketplace for five pound with the mattress and two sheets as well. So it's got these um, gray star sheets. Obviously I would have preferred pink, but it really doesn't matter. I thought five pound for two lots of sheets and the stand as well, I thought that was pretty good. Now this is another thing we had for Lila Rose and it's something that I wasn't gonna compromise on again this time. I would highly recommend getting one of these and it is the Grow Egg 
just grow egg i don't know what i was going to say i was going to say grow egg glow clock but it's not so if you haven't seen one of these before it's basically a thermometer like a room thermometer it's really handy for when you're trying to dress your baby so if you keep this on specifically before they go to bed and you want to know how much to layer them in this will light up so it will tell you the temperature and then what i used to find really helpful is that i could go on to google type in the grow egg chart and it basically tell you what to dress your baby in according to the temperature that it shows up on here which i found really handy it makes you feel a little bit more comfortable with how many layers to put on your baby during the night and we got this one for three pound off of facebook marketplace don't feel like you have to go and buy this brand new because it works perfectly and it's an absolute bargain this is a really random one but i had to include this look how cute this is i got this on sale from sainsbury's i think it was originally like 12 pound don't quote me on that maybe eight pound it went down to six pound and lila rose herself loves paddington so i thought little baby girl little baby sister can have her own little paddington rattle right next up is bath towels these were two really good bargains i'm going to show you the teamy one first which is actually what my mum-in-law bought off of teamy i have checked the price of this and i was shocked hang on let me get the exact price £2.21. You know when you get really cheap towels or flannels and you put them through the wash and immediately they just go that real... They're just not soft anymore, are they? And they just feel really naff. This has gone through the wash. Smells incredible. And this is still so soft. There is absolutely nothing cheap about it. I'm pretty certain this is microfiber as well, so it's amazing for drying as well. And it's got a little elephant on it. How cute is this? Uh oh, oh, is that gonna get annoying? Nah, she won't have a choice, she's gonna look adorable. <sighs> Team you, you're brilliant. I know sometimes you've got to be careful with Team you, but seriously, the majority of the purchases are absolutely brilliant. Now this one you might have seen on a different video when I had a buys of the week video. This one I got from Home Bargains during a panic buy because my mucus plug fell out at 30 weeks and I was like, oh my God, I haven't got enough stuff so I need to go buy it all. I kind of wish I didn't and I wish I knew about Team U and just ordered a load of those ones because for however many more pence this is, it is kind of soft. It has gone through the wash, but it just doesn't beat the quality of the Team U one. It has got bits coming out as well you know it's just yeah this is basically like a cheap one so but if you are looking for like a, just a cheap one that you can go and grab on the shelf this was home bargains for i think it was like two pound fifty so next up is the play mat that we bought this was an absolute necessity and it was actually the exact same one that we got lila rose and i kind of wish i never got rid of it the first time but i happened to find a really good bargain and it was 15 pound with some extras from facebook marketplace now i'll put it on screen for you guys so you can actually see what it looks like but i've kind of got little bits of it right here the main reason i wanted this one is because lila rose really loved this music thing and she just used to be obsessed with it especially because it lights up it plays loads of different kinds of music as well it worked for lila rose so i thought Do you know what we'll go for it again and hopefully it'll work for the next baby however for such a good deal it did actually come with some extras so i think maybe the one we got for lila last time it did have a tummy time pillow but it it wasn't as cool as this <laughs> so it's got a llama tummy time pillow it came with a little what on earth? I have been looking for that everywhere. That is one of Lila's toys and I've literally been looking for that for about two months. Kid you not. So this rolls out. So when they're doing tummy time, she can lean over and then that sits on there. She should basically lean over with her head here if this makes sense and there's also like a little attached toy as well and it also came with this which is actually something that i was looking at getting for christmas for baby girl i was already thinking about christmas presents but i now don't need to because yeah i'm not really sure what these bits are for i don't know if you're supposed to attach it to a cot or something which i wouldn't do out of safety purposes but i love the idea of having black and white books and stuff because obviously babies can mainly only see black and white for however many weeks it is okay we're nearly at the end i feel like i've been chatting for ages this is very chatty this is something that i don't really know if we're gonna keep if rick's watching this he's gonna be like oh are you serious we're gonna go we have to get rid of it i want to say this is the fisher price bright starts swing which i'm not sure how much it would cost brand new we basically got this for a tenner which i don't think is that bad considering it all just looks brand new now the only reason i'm not sure about keeping this is because lila rose has already started putting her teddies in here and just swinging this to town which makes me very nervous when there's actually a real baby in there 
is the baby going to go flying? And how often are we going to have to control the environment so that we don't have to keep telling her off for going and trying pushing her? Because I know she's going to want to swing her. I think it's got a few different modes where you can... So you can put it on swing. I think it's got a timer. You can then increase on the side the intensity of the swing, which I think is quite cool. Then it also plays music in different levels two different levels of music i think this is just like a nice alternative to have from just a bouncer we found that with lila as well that we actually ended up borrowing a swing because the bouncer just sometimes wasn't enough to keep her satisfied i don't know i just think for a tenor i wanted the option to possibly have a swing now when it comes to baby clothes i'm not going to show everything that we bought because it was all second hand but i wanted to show you a couple of bits that i got from vinted to encourage you guys that you can buy second hand and get some seriously good quality and good bargains so i'm going to show you guys the listing on the screen right here so one woman was actually selling a pack of six up to one month sleep suits which was the exact size that i needed she was selling those for one pound and because on vintage you can get discount when you buy bundles i had a little look to see what else she was selling and she was selling three baby sleep suits newborn size for one pound in very good condition so altogether with postage i paid three pound four pound four p for what's that what did i say six seven eight nine sleep suits i think that's amazing and when they arrived it wasn't just very good condition it literally was brand new condition especially the stuff that was next as well which i don't have with me because they're in the hospital bag you know when you get a slight bobbling from from washing there's not even that what like four pound for all those just trying to encourage you guys okay just trying to encourage you guys now the other thing i got from vinted i will put it on screen here of how much this cost but this was listed as brand new so i was really pleased with the deal that i got here so this is an mns snowsuit or pram suit whatever you want to call it it's got the built-in mittens which is awesome literally brand new and i think that was only a couple pound but like i said i'll let you guys know on screen is mummy taking too long to film her video you want to go upstairs and go to bed don't you you go in your bed for me in your bed then that was her basically giving me the cue that I've been talking too long and it's time to go to bed. However, I realised there's one more thing which I'm going to include. You might have seen this in one of my videos. I can't remember which one that I showed it in. I'll link it in the description because we got it from Amazon. And I will also put it on screen so you guys can see the price. It is battery operated, which is the only thing that I didn't realise. I did think it was going to be a plug-in. However, it is only going to be for the times where I do night feeds. So I'm not going to have it on all through the night. You can have it on just this normal like white light or if you tap the head it actually goes through changing colors as well. But yeah, this is purely for nighttime feeds, just to make my life easier, so. So I'm hoping I can get this video out for you guys as soon as possible, and then the video after this will probably be me introducing our baby. I literally cannot wait to meet her and I cannot wait to introduce you guys to her, so look out for that video. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys in that next video. Bye.